Hi, I'm Bridget. I am a dance artist who, amongst many other things, works with the Lowry, a fantastic organisation who run the Lowry Centre for Advanced Training and run fantastic projects like You Dance Northwest. I'm already moving because we're going to get started really soon, but there are a few things that I'd need to say. I'm going to take you on a movement journey. So there are no rights or wrongs. It's a guided improvisation. If you've never done improvisation before, don't be afraid. As I just said, there are no rights or wrongs. You can follow my instructions and you can make choices that are interesting for you. Be playful and get to know yourself as a mover a little bit more through this. I do this particular guided improvisation with the students on the Lowry Centre for Advanced Training program. And we learn lots about our anatomy, about possibilities in movement, and we find ways that we can enjoy moving. Um, make sure your space is safe for moving. Make sure you're dressed for movement. Make choices that support you and your individual body. And also, I'm not gonna play any music. Um, we're gonna listen into the body and we're gonna move from different images and different ideas. But if you love having music on when you dance, then you can put something on in the background for yourself, some things that you love. Um, so we're gonna get moving. Okay. Let's find a place to begin. So I want you to imagine that you're moving in to soft grass. That could be your feet that are moving into the grass or whichever part of your body is in contact with the surface, moving into the soft grass. So as we do this movement exploration, I want you to let the images move you. Yeah, this is your play. I'll be moving the whole time. And if seeing what I'm doing is useful for you and you wanna follow that in moments, go for it. But this is about you discovering something about yourself. And I do this particular exploration a lot. And whenever I do it, I'm moving differently each time and I'm discovering different things each time. So we're gonna add another idea in. Now, as we add ideas in, we don't have to let go of the idea that we just had. We can actually let them all build up in the body. And maybe sometimes one is a little bit stronger in the attention and the other's a little bit quieter. Maybe sometimes they're equal. Maybe sometimes they change, they phase. And as we go, we're gonna build in quite a few images so that you're gonna have a really full, rich exploration. So the idea is now that this soft grass that we're in, that we've moved into, let it make you soft. What is the softest movement you could do? Remember, there are no rights or wrongs. It's just the question right now. What is the softest movement you could do? because of the soft grass. Maybe there's an image that comes to mind for you with being soft. Maybe it's got something to do with something that you've touched, which is soft, and thinking about that like a cushion, a soft cushion that's full yeah, of soft material. Can we be that soft cushion? Great, now we're gonna add another image. Here we go. I want you to imagine that there's a string coming right through the center point of your head. I'm using my hands to illustrate, but you don't have to. And on top of that string is a balloon. The balloon is filled with air, but underneath it, there is air, there is wind, and that wind can have different qualities. So I want you to now see what happens to this soft movement with the idea that there's a balloon connected to you. 
to the center point of your head. How does that change your movement? Does the wind underneath that's carrying the balloon change as well? And as you do this, I want you to let the rest of your body kind of go on a little bit of a ride. So we don't ever want to stop other movement through the body because we've got these images. Actually, we want to let the images inspire lots of movement through the body. So for myself at the moment, because of the idea of the wind, oh, my arms want to kind of be with that. And because of the play of whew, the wind underneath this balloon, oh, I'm feeling like I'm going up and down and finding a sideways, yeah? And just with this, do what you're ready for. I've already done quite a bit of dancing today, so my body's ready to be maybe a bit bigger, but for you, you might wanna keep this a little bit smaller. Maybe this is one of the first things you're doing today after having done a warm up, yeah? And so you just need a little bit more time to feel in. And don't forget to go into the spaces behind you and beside you. Great, let's add the next image. There's the string with the balloon. Now that string is gonna run all the way through you. And on the end of that is a rock. Ooh. Yeah, and that rock is making contact with the surface. And for a moment, without losing the balloon, I want you to feel the weight of the rock, what that does to the body. Are you being a little bit more pulled down? And is there a rhythmic play you can do with that? Maybe it's sudden, maybe sometimes it bounces and but you're being pulled up at the same time. Let's see what dance happens. Oh, if I'm being playful between the rock and the balloon on a string. Let's go. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to play with this. I'm gonna play with it too. And everything doesn't have to be even, yeah? Let yourself go with Wherever you're curious. Let's go for another 15. Another five, another four, three, two, one. Let's keep moving and we're going to just bring this down a little bit. So I want you to now contain it down. Maybe return to the place you were when you started this dance. I want you to have all that information. Can it still be energetically as strong, but smaller? Great. We're just bringing it in place putting a little spatial restriction on it. Oh, yeah, maybe there's some light on the floor, yeah, or in the space where you are and you're inside that. Maybe you're imagining a column or a telephone booth and you're inside of that. So what is this dance? Oh, now that, hey, yeah, we're in this smaller space. Remember, you're soft. You've got the balloon and you've got the rock. Great. And now I want you to just bring it down in energy a little bit. Oh, let's do this at like 20%. Let's say 20%. What is that? Great. We're going to add in another image now. We're going to create some cinema eyes. So what that means is, I want you to, once you've brought this down a little bit, close the eyes. And then I want you to imagine that in the dark, the eyes are panning and scanning the space. And then you open the eyes and there is something new to see. 
and you move towards it or maybe you move away from it I'm going to leave that up to you and we close the eyes and we pan maybe you pan a little bit up it doesn't always have to be horizontal but please look after your neck you open the eyes you move towards that or you move away from it a little bit and then you close the eyes you pan you open the eyes move away or move towards so let's just keep doing this now look after yourself with those eyes that are closed so we're on the spot when we change yeah when we pan with the eyes closed and in some ways we're revealing new scenes to ourselves so only move when those eyes are open so that we're safe in our space and what we're going to do now is really feel the way that the head can lead our movement and now we're going to take away the eyes and we're just going to pan the space we're going to let the head lead that now already lots of other parts of my body are becoming involved but you know what I still have the balloon now in this idea the balloon doesn't go with my head it's going to keep going up to yeah the sky what I'm going to do is I'm going to feel my body coming off that string parts of my body going off the string and back onto the string as I pan I'm going to add this in remember you've got the rock still and we're going to just let the rest of the body enjoy what's happening we don't have to block any of that and we're going to let this panning whew, yeah, inform our movement good maybe at times the balloon becomes strong maybe at times the rock becomes strong can they all be playing together that's interesting i'm going to give you 15 seconds just to play with this what is it with the rock the balloon and the body parts that come off that string and return to the string and maybe you want to give moments where you really feel the return to the balance and then you take the body parts off that now my ribs are moving my armpits are moving my hips are moving my feet are moving but I'm trying to let them all be led by now remember you also have going towards or away from things in your play as well let's do this for another five another four another three another two another one great so now we're going to add our last thing into this dance we want to separate our bones we're going to start by thinking about the way that our wrists and fingers can go away from us and back into us that's the first way we're going to think about separating bones so we're going to have them going away from us and back into us away from you and back into you that doesn't have to be even maybe sometimes they stay in maybe sometimes only one goes away maybe sometimes they go at different distances away doesn't always have to be the most extreme maybe sometimes they can go away in front and behind you great so we've got the arms going what happens if you make this other body parts wrists and heels yeah ribs and hips um knees and sternums oh might just went towards don't worry there's no judgment it's just something 
to keep us alive. It keeps us moving, keeps us exploring, keeps us understanding possibilities. Maybe you can move towards things and away from things as well as you've got bones Ooh. going away from each other. You're looking, you're panning, you've got a rock. Yeah, my rock likes to give me a little bounce sometimes and my balloon likes to remind me of being up and that I can play between those spaces. Yeah, those two places of different energy, different quality. Great, and I've got bones separating. Good, and we're gonna add one more idea. I want you to never stop moving, but we can add in slow motion. <sighs> and enjoy the slow motion, and then into whichever rhythm you're playing with. The other thing is sometimes you might wanna really fast forward, yeah? I wanna fast forward, I want to go slow motion so I can give time to feel what's happening through the body with all these images and then all the pieces yeah of this exploration and I'm going to give you some time to play with all of these things, see what movement it brings forward in you today. What is the dance today that comes from all these parts? What is unexpected? What is new? What are you discovering? What are you listening to? What are the different scales of play? Remember before we put something in the contained space, we even dropped the energy right down. Maybe that's a part of your dance as well. This play between energy. Let's go for another 30 seconds. Maybe if you have some music on, you want to turn it up. Yeah. But maybe you do that in a way that is safe, but means you don't stop playing. If you don't have music, that's okay. I often do this without any sound. Oh, I've got the sound of my body moving through space. I've got the sound of my breath. And I've got the sounds from inside my house and also the sounds that come from outside. And maybe the slow motion is what gives you time to hear all that as well. Ah, there was a car that just went past. Gave a nice continuous rolling sound for me to play with. And we're gonna go for another 10, another nine, another eight, Another seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let's bring it back into our container, maybe into the column, into the telephone box, into the light in the space that you're in. Oh, and maybe we want to deliberately just go slow motion separating and distancing our bones. I like to think about laser beams going in this moment. Laser beams expanding in big ways and in smaller ways. It depends which bones I'm separating. And we're going to use this to just calm us down, slow us down. Remember though, 
after this, please do your own cool down if you're not moving on to something else. And let's bring it right back down and let's come back to our soft grass. And just let yourself have a moment with the soft grass to be with how you feel now. What's alive in you? I'm definitely alive through my skin. Yeah, that's really alive. There's sweat. I'm alive in my breath. Oh, I can feel my heart moving, pumping a little bit more. Oh, I feel a little bit uh, released in some places. I can feel some places have worked. Oh, I can feel that I went to some places that I'm now really curious about. And maybe I can take that in to other things that I do, into maybe creative work, into choreographies, or even into your technique training. What do some of these ideas mean in that space? Whatever dance you're doing, maybe this means something. And let's bring this right down. And take a breath in. And we're going to push the hands down and breathe out. I never stop moving though, you don't have to be still. I just let the energy, the weight, the transfer of weight, the pulse, just be there. One more. Great. And that's our dance for today. Hey, thank you so much for moving with me. Um, if you enjoyed what you did today, or even if you're just a little bit curious, you could head over to the Lowry's website and find out more about activity that you can get involved in. You can also follow Northwest Dance on social media to find out more about what's happening across the region. Take care, have a fantastic rest of the day, and I hope that you move again really, really soon. All right, bye.